All right, guys, here we go. Picking up where we left off. Chapter number five. Welcome back to the alien cube. So if I remember right, we're going to look for Edgar's cabin. We can't take the car any further because as it's just said, or it said in the previous one, that this tree is blocking the way. Also, want to say a massive thank you to everyone. I am recording this a couple of days later, so I have had a chance to read a lot of your comments. Thank you so much for all the kind words, guys, that you have enjoyed this. I'm so happy that you did, because I really love stuff like this, and I'm so happy that you guys do too. I guess let's just see where this adventure takes us. I'm a little bit worried, though, now, because it's... Ooh. What's that business? You see that? Like... Is that just the weather? I'm a little bit worried because of what happened in that previous episode. I don't know where we ended up. Oh boy. Got some wolves. I don't know where we ended up, but it wasn't good. I can definitely say that for sure. And it is freezing. Yeah, we'd probably want to let's get a little jogger and keep the blood flowing. Here's the gas station. Do you imagine like running in conditions like this? See, every time I say that, I have to stop because... Oh, that must be Edgar's car. Which one? The one on the right or the, the kind of pickup one? Yeah, every time I say that, like, imagine running in conditions like this, I forget that there's a bunch of you guys that probably live in conditions like this, and that blows my mind. I'm just saying, this car is badass. I've always loved these style cars. I do like pickups too, though. Which one was it? Oh! <gasps> Oh, there's the cube. It's gonna disappear, right? Oh, you! Oh. It's playing with us. Newspaper. September thirteenth, nineteen ninety nine. Strange sightings in Black Hill. A truck driver who was passing through Black Hill gas station claims to have seen strange lights in the sky on the night of August 5th. The same night that Jane Merton, 34, the mother of two girls, disappeared. His account coincides with those of other local people, including Shirley Harrison, who told us I saw a big flash in the sky that night. It was about 2.15 a.m. Ms. Harrison added that she had heard a horrific cry coming from the forest an hour later. <gasps> oh! I heard something weeping. I, I kind of want to look around too, because if we have to leave this area, I, I want to make sure that I've not missed anything. There's those statuettes that are around and stuff, and... If there's any other things like newspapers, I just want to be sure that I'm checking them. We could probably get on there with this, too. But yeah, like I was... Uh, oh, yeah, definitely a way up that way. Like I was just saying, though, I do forget that you guys are literally all over the world. And one thing that I haven't done for a long, long time, I guess it's because... Ooh. Statuette, there we go. Found another secret. One of the things that I used to do all the time, especially on little playthroughs like this, was ask you guys whereabouts in the world you're from. I always think that's a really cool way of of getting to know where you guys are watching from. Always puts a smile on my face. Right, let's head this way then. If not, we can double back. I definitely heard weeping though. It said in that paper then that somebody was, uh, or Miss Harrison heard her crying coming from the forest and strange lights in the sky. I thought that was a shoulder. <laughs> it's, just a, it's like a wheel for a well. <laughs> oh my... <gasps> no, no, no. Oh, chills. Guys, I've got chills all over my body right now. No, I did not expect that. What's down there? Examine. What was that moan I heard coming from? Yeah, exactly. What was that? There's a house up there too. I saw the lights. Can we... Can we go that way, or is it? Yeah, I think it's all pretty much blocked off, right? Let's go and check this house out. This would be like the perfect conditions to, to actually see something in the sky, too. I mean, I know there's bad weather, but... 
the lights will reflect off the snow. We'll get a good look at something. What on earth? It's horrible. What were they doing here? That is a human skull. And all kinds of bits. Oh. We gotta go there. Come on, get up. Oh. Oh. <gasps> what? That legit sounded like a bear or something. Right, let's get back in there. Come on. Don't know whose house this is, but we're having a rummage around. Let's see. Journal of a member of the Order. We managed to successfully divert the attention of the press. The Mitchell case risked becoming a big problem for all of us. From now on, we'll pay more attention. We fenced the whole area so it'd be easier to defend it. Our men in the police will handle problems and ensure that no one asks questions. See, this is a problem. When anything like this has popped up, when we've been reading this stuff, it always makes me think, why are we not telling people? But when you see things like they've got people in the police or, you know, they've got their hands in many pockets, I guess, that makes you worry because we've not really got a chance of getting this out there. The great priestess appreciated our engagement. And once again, her directions were essential. She is the mother of all of us. And her wisdom has guided us for generations. The great priestess. As a reward, I and a few others will be privileged to undergo the first transformation stage. In this way, we will become stronger and our bodies will age much more slowly. However, we will have to isolate ourselves from society and spend the coming days in our shelters as we wait for the day of revelation. The great priestess transformation stage. I don't like the sound of all this. <laughs> a tractor there. Oh. Grab the shears. I was just about to say there's somebody on the bed. Oh god, he's dead. It can't have been long since he was killed. The blood is still fresh. Oh, go, 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 go! Get out there! Where was the... It was here, wasn't it? It was this spot. Didn't we pick up an axe? I don't think I would have gone too far away from that, to be totally... Oh. To be totally honest with you guys, I would have kept that with me, if, especially if I don't have any sidearm or something that I can keep this order away from me with. Really cool, though. I mean, I feel sorry for the person that's in there, but we have shares for something. I don't know what it's for. Maybe to break the lock off the gas station. If there was one, I didn't quite see. And there was nothing that we could do with this. Yeah, it was just that moan, wasn't it? I can't go up to the left there, to that building. Yeah, the weird noises so far. The crying that we heard, which I think I'm still hearing. And then that weird thing in the well. Just constantly keeps you on edge. Not getting around that way, right? No, we're not sneaking around there. There is a light aiming at something over there. I don't know what that's about. I don't think I saw that on the way in. There's a cabin back here, though. Can we get through that? Oh, this is what the shears are for. Okay, that was just dumb luck. There we go. Let's break this open. In Edgar's cars, there's a trunk. I should try and open it before I go on. There we go. Chest. What do we get? Page. A page from Edgar's journal. The whole area around the gas station has been fenced, blocking the shortest route, but that's not a problem. I'll go on foot from here. Then I'll spend a couple of days in the cabin. If my theory about the tunnels is right. Oh god, we're going down into more tunnels? I should be able to find more of them around here and maybe near the cabin too. My father often mentioned in his notes that he had to come here as if he had to meet someone. Did he or other members of the order meet somewhere here in the woods? Did they use those old tunnels? It seems that the order has existed for thousands of years. 
with only the most ancient families participating in the gatherings. Okay. Starting to sound a lot like the Illuminati now. Can we not get anything else out of that? Was it just the page? It's keeping us up to date on what is going on then. Okay. Let's go. So this is where Edgar came then. We're basically following in his footsteps right now. Is this... Is this his cabin, though? Oh, yep. Yep, I heard that. Easy does it. We know there's wolves around, and I heard what sounded like a bear. Might not have been. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I just banged my knee on my desk, too. I'm freaking out. feel completely alone like I'm being watched too what is that there's something on the top of the uh, top of the bushes I'm just going to ignore all the noises let's just keep it moving to be totally honest with you guys the thing that made it worse for me was that moan that came from the well That's that set my heart racing Oh, yeah, no, we're not alone. There's something here. Wolves. Go. Go, go, go. Do not want to get surrounded by a pack of wolves. Okay. <laughs> I don't mind telling you guys. I am fully freaked out right now. The noises, the subtle movements of the, uh, of the, of the brush, the twigs snapping and stuff like that. And, and then when I was hearing like the, the fresh snow being crushed under like something's foot. And then this creepy ass narrow pass to wherever we're going. Ooh, there we go. Whispers are getting stronger now. I can hear movement all around me right now. Can I take this? I'm bracing. Okay, we can't go that way. Can we just take cover in this little thing? That's in. No. Somebody's got the fire on. There it is. Oh. What? Was that what I think it was? Um, that's a bit. Oh, oh my God. What? That was massive. Oh my God, it can't be. Wait, 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 wait. Before we go, oh, I'm gonna miss it, but I, I need to know that I've not missed anything. I thought it was a bear, like, rummaging through the area because there was a fire on. Examine. Had a horrible vision. Yep. Then we saw some absolutely massive creature. I did, <laughs> did not expect that. Oh, there we go. Okay. Grabbed ourselves a shovel. I just thought it'd be worth having one last check before we went all the way back that way. Found a shovel, so I think maybe I'll be able to <laughs> dig my way through this this snow wall. Oh yeah, that's what we're going to attempt to do. Are we through? Can you imagine how many calories that would burn? I know that's like the last thing I should be worried about right now because of what we've just seen, but 
in these conditions, like having to do that. Ugh. <laughs> and sweating in these conditions too. I mean, some people are used to this kind of stuff. And I don't mind the cold either, but... Just seems like it'd be a lot of work to do something like that. God damn this. You cannot argue one thing. Despite if you're into this kind of thing or not. You cannot say that this game is not gorgeous. Oh my god. Everywhere you look. If you are wondering as well, this is on the cry engine. I don't think there's any surprises there. But the world that's been created. Journal of a member of the order. We have sighted the creature once again. The same day Edgar disappeared, we saw it for the first time. It is a magnificent specimen that is evolving very fast. Its growth is outstanding, and soon it will reveal its final shape. That's not its final shape? The sacred tomes tell of a similar creature sent by the ancient gods to punish the people. <laughs> okay, it's evolving. Don't know if I really want to know what its final form is. We gotta go across that. <laughs> I think you guys could tell where I was pointing. I, I was doing everything to avoid this. Oh, God. Baby steps. Baby steps. Oh, don't look down. Don't look down. Oh, we've got to jump that. <gasps> Here we go. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, how did Indiana Jones do this so much? Okay, it wasn't that bad. We're definitely not getting back that way, though. That's for sure. I actually don't know where we're headed to now. I guess we're just continuing down the path based on the information we found. There's that incredible sound. Hello? Oh, shouldn't have said that. I kind of want to get a look at this thing, though. Where is it? So that is the thing that made the noise, then. That wasn't a bear. Is this just a drop-off? Yep. So that thing would have walked past there. And if you think, like, in terms of scale, how big that creature was... Yeah, we're definitely not taking that down. Alright, what we got here? Journal? Oh, okay. Right, let's read this. That terrifying creature. It can't be real. It's not possible. I can't tell visions and reality apart. My mind is falling apart and I feel I'm losing control. But I can't give up now. The call is getting stronger. The cube must be nearby. This whole area seems to be under the order's control and it looks like Edgar's cabin. Why did the music just do that? is at the heart of their territory. Everything's getting ramped up and my heart is pumping, so <laughs> I apologize if I just stopped to hear something. It seems that I knew nothing of this, but how is it possible that he didn't know? The cabin belonged to Grandfather William. Was it another secret location where he used to meet the other members of the Order? I have to reach that place. I have to be very careful. They know I'm here. Okay. <laughs> I mean... Some freaky music has started playing. We've discovered some creepy-ass church-like thing. And we're getting suspicions that we're getting close to what Edgar was on to. Oh, don't like this. Skeletons, dead things. Prisoner's notes. They came back. Juan and I have been taken and carried out into the heart of the forest. They tied us up and blindfolded us so we couldn't see what was happening. But we could hear everything. I can still hear those terrible chants. They had never spoken before that moment, but when I heard those... cries... Oh God. Then suddenly they went away and left us alone, but something huge approached and took Juan shortly after. I will never forget his agonized screams. Oh, he was taken by the creature, wasn't he? Luckily I managed to free myself and run away, but what I've seen... I don't even want to think about what would happen to me if I stayed out there. This abandoned church is the only shelter I've found. There are skeletons everywhere and everything is covered by a viscous substance. But it's still better than staying out there. I'll spend the night here, then I'll try and go back to the car. Why do I get the impression that's like exactly something we're going to get into? 
It's like it's a premonition of what's about to happen. That crazy stuff is everywhere around this. And there's candles on. So people have been here. There's the creature. Look at that. Oh. That's not what you want to see. When you've just seen a massive creature, as if that's not enough. And the graveyard. Alright, let's navigate through this then. There's a hole in the wall. Is it this way? Oh, I'm seeing a light down there. It's probably where we gotta go. How far is Edgar's cabin? Did I get lost? I hope this is the right way to go. Me too. I'm still very aware of the fact that we haven't seen any, uh, any wolves yet. But we've heard them. Or oh, that creature. We haven't seen that in a minute. What's this? What kind of shady shit is going on in there? Can't get in. Nothing good ever came from a room looking like this. Definitely can't get in. We go around the back. Is there another way into the... Uh, it's definitely going into the tunnel too. Oh. Yep, there's a building up top. Maybe we can make... <laughs> That actually scared me so bad. Go. I don't even know where I'm going to. Can't see any entrances. Shit. That's the edge. No. Leave me alone. Just go. I can hear that thing is right behind us. Oh. Shit. Oh! oh! Can you hear that breathing? Go, go, go! Jump! Thing we, we, I mean, I know we were being chased by whatever the hell that thing is. When it, it's definitely not human. Did you see the size of that creature that we? Oh my! And there it is. I had to open my big mouth. Said the wolves. <laughs> we haven't seen the wolves yet. I'm gonna get my wish. Oh man! When it does that, when it, all of a sudden that thing just appears and it chases you through the forest. My poor heart is beating <laughs> so fast. All right, entrance to a cave. Can we not take the candle? Oh, yeah. Somebody's down here. That was up ahead, right? Some more symbols. Some of them you might recognize. I thought I recognized what that was, but I actually don't. Now we're up close to it. Oh, there's all noises coming from this cave. Like, things are around us again. And the wolves are right behind us. Yep. No, thank you. Let's just go. Get out of the cave. Chapter 6, Edgar's Cabin. The cabin should be nearby. But I can't find it. I think I'm lost. The temperature is dropping quickly and the wind is getting stronger. I shouldn't have come here. I have to find a way to warm up or it will be the end of me. Okay, so we made it out of the cave. And our next objective is, I guess, to try and warm up, right? Before anything bad happens to us. I'm freezing. I need to find shelter as soon as possible. Well, that's shelter. <laughs> but I think somebody's living there. Let's try this door. Of course, it's locked. Why wouldn't it be? Gotta be a way up this way, right? I'm just hoping that something has left a weapon somewhere. Oh, is that the bridge that we ran across? Oh, no. Nope, nope. That's a new one. It's shut tight. Seems like it's been locked from the inside. Okay. I guess we go round then? Can't use that for anything. I know, I know. I'm trying. Gotta get inside. There's a little cabin back there. Maybe that's got some answers or a key that we can open that with. Oh, I'm taking damage. No. Better be quick with this. 
I'll be hanging around in these conditions. I mean, I said it before. Burning all those calories, being out in this too long, being wet. It's not good. Wait, can we stand by this and then just get a little bit of heat? No, the fire went out. I'll have to smoke it with some wood if I want to get warm. We're going to run into the wolves. Oh! Dead animal. Does that die to the conditions? Oh, no, no, it's not. No, that's a wolf kill. Come on. Is this the last one? Yeah, let's go. My feet, I'm freezing to death. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I don't think we're meant to survive this long in these conditions, even with all the right gear. Super dangerous. Cold temperatures. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, God, I feel so bad. There we go. Just breathe a little bit. Oh, that's what we heard. All right. <laughs> Someone's leading the way. I do want to know what's at the top of this. I probably could have turned around and gone outside, but I really want to know. I'm sure you guys do too. So vulnerable right now. We could just kick it here, to be honest. Everything we need. A little propane tank too. We could set a trap up. I don't think we're going to find the answers, though. Maybe this was where Edgar was held up. Lookout's journal. Edgar is heading to the cabin again. We've warned everyone. We're going to hide and watch him. We can't allow him to find out anything. Okay, so this definitely wasn't Edgar's little spot. It was somebody who was watching him. Another level up. Can kind of see what's going on. These things always like freak me out. Like with the way the holes are, usually you get like banisters and stuff, but some of them don't have them. Look at that. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Heart in your mouth moment again. <sighs> Here we go. This genuinely does freak me out, by the way. I promise you guys, I'm not over exaggerating this. I, I hate this more than you guys will ever know. Hikes are not my thing. It's one of the things I really struggle with. Let's just get this done. Oh, those rickety sounds. No, don't do that. Just keep going. Okay, so far, so good. The hell is that? For a split second, I thought it was a trebuchet. I mean, these things are all lit, so they're definitely around. That order was stopping uh, Edgar getting to something. They're definitely here. Oh. I heard like a, a chime or something. Could probably go down that way, but I do want to know what's across this bridge. If anything. And where the hell that massive creature is. Get down there. Oh, we're feeling the chill again. And it's getting very, very difficult to see where we're going to. Oh, this is dangerous. No, no. Stick next to the rocks. Just... Ooh. Oh, it's just a rock. I'm half expecting to be attacked by something, so... I'm totally on edge. <laughs> Anything and everything that looks like something to me now is danger. We've got a wolf over there. Is this fire? Can we get a little bit of heat from this? Nope. Just got to keep going. There's more light down there. Oh, this is so rough. You actually feel the pain like he's going through. Frostbite. All your limbs stiffening up. Can't bend your fingers, and when you do, it hurts. Just keep going. Keep that blood moving. There's a fire over there. Yeah, okay, we can warm up. Oh. We died? No way did we die to that. We were so close. Okay. One thing that was really cool about that death scene, I don't know if you guys picked up on it, but just before I died, our character was really slowing down as if he just couldn't take another step. It was a really cool feeling. Don't know if... There it is. That, there. That, just that little stall like that when he has to take a breather. There you go, big guy. Half expected to see a wolf up there. We got to go down that. 
I don't think there's any other way. All right, let's go. I'm gonna keep going down that way. Oh no, there we go. I can take a little bit of heat by this. <gasps> we needed that. These conditions are brutal, and I'm really feeling it as well behind the camera. Let's see what this is. Oh, I know this place. It's Edgar's cabin. But what's that thing? That does not look human. Okay, Edgar's disappearance. We were watching Edgar's movements when he suddenly disappeared. We examined the photo that we were able to take and we noticed a big spherical object that was standing in front of the cabin. It dissolved shortly after, burning the surrounding area. We did our best to put the fire out, which almost completely destroyed the cabin. We have no idea what that thing was. And since then, we haven't seen Edgar anymore. So we just dis- Oh, so that's where he went. He was taken away. <laughs> He's gone with him. Some scissors. Can we not take the axe? Oh, <laughs> please let me take the axe. He's right there. Just let me hold it. I'll feel safe. Right, let's get back next to the fire for a second. Heat up. And then I think there was a straight shut down to the right. Which sounds like where that big thing's stomping around. Let's see. Oh, yeah. It's like we've got to put a bridge down too. I'm taking my time getting down these because I don't want to take any damage. Oh, the scissors. There we go. Oh, no. Don't look down. Oh, why did you do that? <laughs> feel instantly dizzy after doing stuff like that. That's the cube. Is it the cube? Oh! What was that sound? Because we're so used to seeing that green glow whenever it appears now, I'm just assuming that it is the cube, but maybe it isn't. Maybe it's something to do with that spherical object that took Edgar away. And that creature, I want to know more about what's going on with that creature too. I get it. I, there's like two sides to the story here, but I don't want to do any guesswork until we find out more or at least see more about what's going on. Oh, there we go. There's the cabin. So it was here. That spherical object was right out front. Is there a fire? Let's get out of the elements. Examine. I wonder what happened to Edgar. The fire was destroyed. Oh, the fire has destroyed everything. Wait, what are those things? Oh, it's what the, uh, the wood sits on. At least we were able to get out of that brutal cold. Well, the page. The page from Edgar's journal. What was that? That spherical thing? It seemed like something otherworldly, not man-made. As soon as I touched it, I saw a bright white light. The world around me began to warp and bend in on itself. I felt fear. An indescribable fear. Unlike I've ever felt before. When, for a moment, it felt as though I was leaving my body. The terror, it was so strong, my senses abandoned me. When I opened my eyes, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I was in a place I'd never been before, trapped in a cage. Fortunately, I managed to escape, but what happened? Where am I? I don't recognize this place. I need to find help. Poor guy, he's panicking. So I don't know quite if he's referring to the spot where we were uh, teleported to after we put the cube in that thing, or if it's something we haven't experienced yet. Yeah, there is a light coming from down there. There's a crack in the floor. <sighs> There's a trap door. Come on. Everything's such slow movement. It's frozen. I can't open it with my bare hands. Was there anything that I could use? Bit of wood. Smash it open or something like that. That's the page over there. Yeah, we can't use that. I've got to look around the area then. See if there's anything we can use. There we go. Got an entrance to a tunnel. I mean, I'm just saying... At this point, an axe would have been perfect, right? <laughs> and I did say, oh, no, no. Wait, this is like a bunker system. Oh, my God. That scared the shit out of me then. Oh. It's that thing, isn't it? What? <laughs> oh. 
Tranquil Industries. Okay. I was terrified before when I thought it was just some non-human thing chasing us in a hood. Now that I know it can shapeshift or whatever the hell just happened to it. <laughs> Can't turn this on. Maybe it didn't shapeshift. Maybe something killed it or it died for some reason, but... The way it was doing that tweaking stuff in the shadow gave me that impression. I gotta be honest with you guys, I have no idea what this place is supposed to be. I thought it was an old bunker system that the uh, the Order had like used for themselves, but I don't think it is. It looks more like... Oh, wait. Okay, let's just keep going and find out. It's locked, but what's over there? I can just make out some candles. I have no idea. There was such a huge facility down here. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to work out. What is this place, though? Oh, good. We're going through the vents. Nothing good ever came from <laughs> going through vents like this. Oh, God. If we get chased here now. Oh, there it is. Something's down there. Can we not pick up that rebar? Hammer. Yeah, we'll take that. Thank you. And the page. Journal of a member of the Order. Many of our past discoveries from the outside were lost. However, we must be eternally grateful to the Order and to the Priestess for the secrets that they passed on to us and that we are all keeping. Unfortunately, the God's Eye was lost by our ancestors. If we could get it back, all our questions would be answered. Oh my God. What did that to him? So if something happened to him, then it wasn't shape-shifting. It looked that way just because of the way it was in the shadows, though. All right, we're right next to the cabin. Let's break open this trap door, find out what's going on. Got a feeling, though, we're going to have visitors pretty soon. There was a cave-in just behind us as soon as we took a step on the stairs. <laughs> Jumps have been real this time around. Everything just feels like it's ramped up. Where is this place? Did Uncle, Uncle Edgar know? He was talking about cages, though. When he went to that other place. Looks like we may have to fix something. Oh, no. <gasps> What the hell are these things? What is this place? Yep. Yep. We need answers. I saw that thing back there too. Actually, you should read that before we go any further, right? It all began when the god's eye fell to earth. We remember it as the event. The great priestess was chosen by the gods to witness it firsthand. Since then, all of her children re-experience that moment in their dreams when they are ready to be called. On the day of the event, however, the God's Eye wasn't the only thing to arrive. This place, it looks so familiar. Where have I seen that lake before? That one doesn't open and there's a corpse in there, or a body at least. You're not dead. It's still warm. Oh, if you open your eyes. <laughs> Don't do it. Prisoner's notes. I'm writing this report in case I don't survive. Mary, Brad, and I were going to Rock Valley when I stopped at an old gas station. Suddenly, some hooded guy came out of the forest and caught us. Okay, so they have been chased by him before, so we're not the only ones seeing him. Everything happened so fast, we couldn't even see their faces. Because they were wearing horrible reptilian masks. They have blindfolded and locked us in what seems to be a big underground facility. I can't tell where we are, but this is definitely a lot of water. Some big machines in operation. They kept us in here for days in separate cells, but today something happened to Brad. He must have seen something terrible. He was out of control and ranting about monstrous beings, unspeakable abominations, and the end of the world. Then they must have taken him, as we have neither seen nor heard him anymore. Poor Brad. Oh! No! Okay. I thought maybe those things were about to get up, but it wasn't. It was something else. Something's opened that door. It wasn't open earlier. Oh, it's going to be in the 
water, isn't it? Oh, no. It's waist height, too. This is like... <gasps> Just got to take it. Okay, we can't go through that way. Good. <laughs> I don't want to. I was thinking before when we had those cold conditions, the only thing worse than this would be having to go from... What the fuck was that? Oh my... That was straight up. Oh no! Oh. Can we not go this way? Okay, this way. I don't know what's happening to us, but it's not good. It's definitely not good. Where the hell do we go? I guess this door? I'm just trying to get through this. I'm, I'm gritting my teeth in hopes that nothing grabs my leg. <laughs> oh. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Was this where we were before? No, no, no. Okay. Caution. Valve. Are we draining the water right now? Is that... Is that what these are for? Did it drain the water or... Doesn't feel like it did. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The character just all of a sudden just stopped like I hit something. I'm just going to keep going this way. I think that thing went down there. Let's go this way. Ooh. What are we hearing? What is that? Every time the character does that weird animation. I half expect to be dragged underwater by whatever that thing was. There we go. I was in two minds about jumping that because it looks like it's really old and I thought my weight would just make it collapse, but looks like that's what we gotta do. I suppose it wouldn't be terrible if we got water just underneath us like that, but <laughs> don't wanna fall in there with what we've just seen go past us. breathe for a sec. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. How long has this been here as well? Oh, okay, we're going to get some answers. Is that just a that is an old ass generator. Okay. There's a table over this way. My god, look how cool that is. I think we're going to find out a little bit more about the priestess. What is that? I don't know what half of this stuff is, but it's so sick to look at. Oh, okay. There we go. The structure of the universe. This place used to be a temple belonging to our ancestors. Each temple stood at one of the entrances to the underground passages, where the ruins of the ancient cities can still be found today. The statue represents the Great Ancient, who appeared in physical form on the Earth on the day of the event, together with the God's Eye. He united with the population, birthing a new line with divine blood. From that moment, our sacred order was born. The diagram in the dome shows the structure of our universe, with the outside enveloping and containing it. Only the God's Eye can show the outside, which is situated in a superior dimension where the great ancients reign. Something's just opened. It's like something's expecting... Ooh, oh, leading us. Oh, shit. Go. Running would be a really good idea right now. I can't, though. I think I'm frozen in fear. 
nothing better up here from the side of these cages. Just go. Just walk in a straight line. Don't look left or right. What are those noises? Just go. God, my hairs are standing on end right now. I'm just anticipating something happening. Get to the door. Oh, no. Is it here? Come on, I want to know. It's locked. Cut. Come on, come on! No, 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 no! Chapter 7, The Temple. Where are they taking me? I don't remember anything. Oh god, I'm losing a lot of blood. I can't hold on much longer. I feel that my strength is giving out. Something tells me this isn't our bedroom. <laughs> this is definitely not how we left it. What in the hell is that sound? Ooh. Okay. This isn't our reality, is it? There's no way. Oh, look at that. The land of pain. The uh, previous game before this one. It's locked. Where are the keys? All right, well, there's no going that way. Definitely not. Let me go here. Oh, God. Oh, oh, that weightlessness feeling. No, 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 no. There we go. Key. Oh, my stomach did backflips then. <laughs> Can't turn this on. Oh, God. Get over there. Can we leave? Nice. Oh! How is that possible? What's going on? I genuinely don't know what's happening. <laughs> going insane? That voice. It's calling me. Oh, we're gonna see it. I seen. I can't believe it. What was that thing? Ah, ah, I'm badly hurt. It's a miracle I'm still alive. Okay, so we're still bleeding then? I mean, that was a cool ah. sequence. I can Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, yeah, we're hurt. Okay, I can't go on like this. I have to find something to stop the blood or it'll be the end of me. It was pretty obvious what was going on there. It was clearly like a dream sequence or something part of a, uh, a different uh, reality that was going on but well, that was cool the massive creature just like exploded out of the water like that i really want to get a good look at it too it's been two occasions that i've wanted to see the creatures in this and you just get a glimpse just like it was just passing by i love the way that's the thing like you just get a, a you just get a taste of the beings or the creatures in this oh what is that what's that strange object i have to try and lower the bars okay broken upstairs it should seems to be locked from the inside oh that keeps making me jump Oh, no, that's cool. Are they what I think they are? Oh, yeah, look at that. Another cave down there. I don't honestly don't know what's happening right now. I mean, obviously, we're... We're at... 
we're at a stage where we're finding out <laughs> what this order is doing and what it's all leading to. Examine. The structure is unstable. I'd only have to push one of these posts for everything to collapse. <laughs> I had to try it. Oh, okay. There's going to be a chase sequence. So we're going to be chased probably by that hooded figure that's been following us all the way through the game. Oh, look at this. There's a weird fascination with bridges, though. <laughs> you can't deny that. There's a lot of bridges in this. I'm going to go and check this out first before we head over there. There's actually a lot that this uh, this reminds me of. Oh, bandages, nice. There's a lot that this reminds me of. I definitely got am Oh, that is a cool painting. I got amnesia vibes after I uh, I first put this down after part one. Someone's in there. I mustn't get caught. Someone's inside of that. <laughs> We're just going through somebody's house while they're inside. Journal of a member of the Order. Now that we have found the God's Eye, we just have to take the big final step. It will happen tonight. The stars are in a favorable position, and we're all ready for the great revelation. The truth about the outside is waiting for us, and we will finally unite with the great ancient to become one. Yep, that's what it feels like it's leading up to. We keep seeing visions of these, these weird creatures. Ooh. What is that? I saw it. Is that you that's in there? What in the hell have you got? Oh. What have you got on that table? Can't see through these ones. There's a journal that's been updated. The base of the order. Oh, look at that sketch. That's what we just saw. What have they done to me? It's a miracle I'm alive. My stomach is badly hurt. I can't believe I survived. I woke up in a pit full of corpses. Those crazy cultists must have thought I was dead. But what is this place? I recognize the mountains in the distance, but the place is further downstream. The call is so strong here. Oh God, I mustn't. Writing this journal is getting impossible. The cube must be very close. I can't resist its call. I feel it. I can't ignore it. I must find it. Is that for this? Nope. Can I not get in there? Yeah, I kind of want to interact with them, see what they do. I mean, <laughs> it's probably going to be nightmare fuel like it has been. Every interaction we've had with anything in this has been complete nightmare fuel. Can we not take a plank? Or at least some of that scrap. What is that? I don't know what that's supposed to be. Propane tank. Toolbox. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that basically open that door there i would like to kind of do a second run through this just to slowly go through everything obviously i want to keep the pace up because i don't want this to turn into like a five hour video and i'm sure a lot of people want to see what's going on with the whole story of things but i don't mind going through things again just to have a another look at you know what's been created all right we got ourselves a sphere but what does that mean what even are these things are they just objects that go on those statues, at least that's where I'm thinking they would be placed. I mean, the only kind of correlation between these spheres that we're seeing is the one that Edgar is apparently taken away in. Other than, th other than that, I'm not seeing. Oh, he's changing colors. Look at that. Other than that, I'm not seeing any um, any link between them. I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. Go, 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 go. Oh, push. Shit. I didn't even see what was chasing us. <laughs> this time I wasn't turning around. I even said it. I was like, there's going to be a chase sequence. And I forgot. All right, let's see what happens. There we go. One's in there. I didn't open, unless that one lever opened all of the, all of those gates. Which I hopefully it did because this yeah okay we got it it's open. There we go, second one. And then this should open right and lead us straight through to where we saw the beast or the great ancient, as they keep calling it. There's so many different things that we kind of need to go over. There's the god's eye, which I'm not sure if it's referring to the cube. 
Right, so now they're placed on there. Then the door's open. Nice. The puzzles aren't too difficult. It's really straightforward stuff. It's just that you're under pressure because you have that feeling that you're being watched. There's obviously chases that have happened. What is all this? Oh. They were offering tributes. Look at that. Journal a prayer. Oh, great ancient, the most precious of your creations, the god's eye has been found. Yeah, so they were talking about the cube. Thanks to its power, all of us will soon be able to come before you to be judged by you. Take my belongings as a gift and make me one of your chosen ones. The only ones who shall become one with you. What did they actually put as their offerings? Is that just like gold or is it something else? It's kind of crazy that they're doing that. Can't get... Oh, can we go through there? No. Oh, there's a statuette over there. Okay, I need to find a key. No, that's just the journal. That's really going to bug me if we can't get that. <laughs> and I can't break anything open either. Okay, let's go down. Let's see. There's more going on. Descending into the depths. Oh. Door just open. Oh my god, what is this? Okay. So the night sky. I don't know what those symbols are. Alien cube. With the worshippers around it. Oh, it's pointing to something in the picture. I thought it was pointing some something around the candle. What is that? Okay. Oh my god, what? Is that where we're going to get to? Book. The outside. It is said that the great ancients rule the universe from the outside. There used to be a time when we could meet them. But the means of doing so was lost in ancient times. Our ancestors told of a place incomprehensible to our feeble minds, where all knowledge is held and the flow of time does not exist. Only a privileged few were able to understand the visions of the past and the future, which appeared simultaneously in front of their eyes, and to succeed in observing the great ancients and the magnificent creatures that serve them. So that's what they're calling it then. They keep referencing this, the outside. Is this one of those magnificent beasts? Really? Oh, it does. It has a... Uh, it's got a little sign on its chest. The actual, like, the art behind all of this, it's amazing. I love it. I love all kind. You, I mean, you guys all know this type of stuff. I just find it really fascinating. What we got? As a symbol. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, yeah, I just saw that one on his chest. So, we got to go through these, a little puzzle. Where's this one? Oh, there's a star there. You see that? Just under all the, uh, under in the night sky. And then we got this one where the cube is pointing out. Where was this one, though? Oh, it's right at the bottom there. Okay. So, we got to do them in order then. So, that one looks like a, a G. And then the cube has the, the square... And then the star, and then the Z. So, the G, square, star, Z. Nope. The hell is that? What's just happened? Oh, wait, are they pressure plates? No. Oh, there was a key. Okay. Oh. Okay, there was a creature back there. I just found a key over there, just, just resting on the side. And there's been all kinds of noises. I can't like those things. So let's go a little bit further ahead. I don't actually know what it wants me to do. Definitely saw something in that other room, though.
Matches? Oh, there we go. So we can light the uh, the things in there. Makes sense. I thought we just had to press the uh, press the plates, and that would do the trick. I don't want to stay in here any longer. It feels like a like a torture room. Let's just close that door and never return there ever again. That's fine by me. Right? What was it again? It was the G, the half square, and the star looking one, and then the Z. Okay. So where was the G first? That's the half square. And that's the star. Right, so this one first. The G. And then the half square. The star. And it should be the last one. There we go. That was really cool. Again, the, the puzzles are not too difficult, but you have that feeling of tension because, like we've just seen, there's something over there in that, that hallway. So you feel under pressure to, to get it right. And the key that I found was just resting on one of these things, so that's just... Just a heads up for me to check things like that, I guess. Oh, I can hear the chains clinking. I have absolutely no idea where we are. Oh, there we go. What did that do? You can definitely hear something coming from down there. I think it went from this way, that way though, to the left. Oh yeah, it went through that door, didn't it? More tunnels. <laughs> nice. The order's history. It is said that in ancient times, our ancestors succeeded in studying the secrets of the universe thanks to lost technologies. It was at that time that the first theories about the existence of the outside were born. This invaluable knowledge was lost in the mists of time over the millennia, depriving humanity of its most precious discover. Then the event occurred, and the God's eye was consigned to us. It is said that the sacred object was sent by the great ancients themselves to allow their disciples to reach their dwelling places. Alright, let's go into the creepy ass tunnels once again. <laughs> More bridges. I also have this thing like, I'm just going to be walking around and I see like a tentacle move. When you least expect it. Oh! oh! Oh, I want to know if you guys recognize this. What about if I stand here? This place, it really exists. This is legitimately the beginning. So, we were in the room back down there. Let me just quickly check that. I want to see if anything's changed. Oh, yeah. No, no, it's all changed. We got to go this way? So, oh! What kind of creature is this? And this place, I remember it clearly. It was my dreams. That's so good. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Is that... Oh, I'm trying so hard not to jump ahead. But I've got so many questions now. Let's see what this one is. What the hell is that? There's, it's, everything has gone to like a 10 now, so we're being flooded with so much information. Can we still peek through this? Oh, yeah. What's that sound? Sounds like drums. So this is where we had to replace the, uh, the gear in order to get back outside. The door's still open, though. Is it going to slam shut? Oh, no, we're golden. Back outside again, and it was not like this last time. It's actually kind of peaceful. It's also really, really quiet. <laughs> Why have you gone that quiet? What's happening? You guys are not sure where we are, by the way. This is where the impact of the alien cube happened at the very beginning. What is going on over there? Can you hear that? Those drums? Oh! Are these the disciples? 
Look, there's one over there. There's one over there to the right. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're getting into some shit now. You can hear those drums. <laughs> if you add two more beats to that per second, that's my heart rate right now. What on earth? They just sit around this discussing what they're going to do. How they're going to bring that thing back. What? Oh yeah, we're definitely about to find out. He's holding one of those spheres too. Oh, this is cool. Oh, look, look, look. I can't go this way or that guy will see me. But I kind of want to because he's got a machete in his hand. And I want to know if this is just one of the disciples that chases you out the way. I just want to do it just to see. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We're going to get to see his face. I couldn't quite tell if that was the thing that has been chasing us or one of the things that has been chasing us. Chapter 8, The Truth. Okay, what? God. That is so incredibly cool, but I mean, put yourself in this position for a second. That is so scary to me. <gasps> okay, I want to take this in before we go anywhere. Ships down there. We got more of that stuff. That's where they were. Obviously, not in this place, though. Let's see. Examine. This is not possible. It's happening, though. Let's see what this has to say. Journal of a member of the Order. The ritual is accomplished, but the passage has been harder than we thought. Despite this, we are finally here, in the outside. Many of us didn't survive. Others are going insane. This place is incomprehensible to our poor minds. I can barely find the sanity to write these notes. We trained ourselves for this, but it wasn't enough. Damn, my head. I feel like I'm living in a distorted projection both of reality and what's in my mind at the same time. What am I really seeing? I can't distinguish between my thoughts and what my eyes are observing. All of this is indescribable. We must try to go on. The Great Ancients are waiting for us. The Great Ancients. So this is the outside then. See, I'm really hoping that we get to explore a lot more of this. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's death. <laughs> that's what that is right there. Oh, I didn't even check for any traps. I just ran straight through that. Okay, note to self, be careful in this place. We go under there? Nope. Okay, that definitely wasn't me. Oh, maybe it was. Okay. Oh, no, no. That definitely wasn't me. Okay, yeah, there's there's noises. This picture, I've seen it in my dreams. What's it doing here? This picture was right at the beginning. You know that little altar that we uh, we came in on when we got off that gurney or whatever it was, or the, the table? This was right at the beginning. We've got to go down there? Oh, it's a portal. Okay. Oh, oh, ah, ah, oh, oh God. <clears throat> Okay, that wasn't too bad. Where's it taking us? Oh, we gotta go underneath. 
All right. Hold your breath. Can we catch a little bit of air if we need to? There we go. Okay. No, no. Don't you die. Breathe. Get up there. There we go. I have to stay in the water with whatever that was? I didn't even see what it was, I just saw something sink. Yeah, no. <gasps> that is horrifying. I can't see the bottom of the water either. Okay, yeah, let's just stick to, let's stick to the sides. <gasps> I kind of want to get a look at what that was. I didn't even see it. It looked just like, like a broken boat. Like a broken boat. Oh, no, no, no. Go, 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 go. What even is this thing on my right? Yeah, this is just broken ships or boats or something. Go, go. Okay, it's becoming more shallow. Come on, get up there. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's this? Page? Journal, remember the order. Oh, God. It's like my head is going to blow up. If we could only make out the way. We have to stick together and overcome this phase. Or we'll risk being stuck here forever, imprisoned in our own minds. I'm sure I'll make it. I had a clear vision of my future. I saw my union with the ancient. The transformation. I can't wait. The great ancients are close, and they're calling us. I feel it. These guys are straight up batshit insane. It's like they're waiting for this to happen. I mean, obviously, they do want it to happen. Oh, this is not possible. You keep saying that. Oh, every time we're proven wrong, though. What are these visions? What do they mean? There's a lot going on, and it's... What in the hell? Oh my god, look at that! Well, that's my room, what are they do? Wait, is that us? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> I can hear a lot of you guys just making the same connection just then. Right, well, let's see what's down here first, because this this was the end. There's the little troll. Can we go use this? It doesn't work. Of course it doesn't, because we've got to go into the apartment. That's locked. Alright, let's see what it's got in store for us. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Okay. When you think, oh, it's like suspended in time. When you think you got this worked out, figured out what's going on, just sends you the complete opposite way. What on earth is that? Oh, I'm not turning around. Oh, something's breathing. in here with us. Don't turn around. Just go. Just go. That was legitimately horrible. When you have something breathing down your ear like that and you can feel every footstep that's going around you. Like, oh no, thank you. Is that... What is this? Oh! <laughs> Ah! 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 Ah!
Uh. <laughs> okay, every time I try a door, it's turning. Yep. Can I leave now? Oh, the elevator's open. Such a trip. Such a trip. Alright, I don't know where this is going to take us. Let's go. <laughs> at this point, I thought I had a handle on things and what they were trying to, to point at. Like, with the whole transformation thing, the disciples being in the, in the, in the area where we were. I have no idea now. Okay, quick little breather, <laughs> just to try and get my bearings back. I just had a little think about what we've just come up against, because that was just brain melting. Oh my god, easy does it. Are they spikes? Oh, there's spikes down there. I wonder what we're going to see. <laughs> I think we all know. Come on, get over that side. Just leading us back into the outside. Got one more page. We managed to go on and despite some difficulty. It's not easy to rely on each other anymore because our minds are clouded by our previous and future experience, which somehow is materializing in front of our eyes. It's like we're watching the past and the future at the same time. It's incredible. We knew that time here behaves abnormally, but it seems that all time periods coexist in the same moment. Only a superior mind can deal with all this. The true form of the outside is around us, though... We just need to know how to observe. This is the only way to reach the places where the ancients dwell. We have all felt a strange presence around us. It doesn't seem to be one of the ancients, though. We have to tread carefully. We don't know what creatures populate this dimension besides our gods. <laughs> so even they're scared now. I mean, you would be. In a completely different di dimension. Oh, I thought something was going to jump up out of the water. I didn't even know this was water. I thought it was mud. I like how we are living through the eyes of somebody going through this, though. Something weird going on back there. I'm going to try and pick up the pace a little bit. I had something in the water to my right. Yep, there it is again. A splash. No thanks. Let's just keep it going. I have noticed, by the way, this, this is what... We saw in that picture. Here we go. What are we going to see? Is it dead ahead? Feels like we're about to see what all this has been leading up to. Oh my <gasps> You guys recognize that figure? Oh no, no. That creature, there was a figure of that thing on Edgar's desk in that locked room. Come on, big guy, you're okay, get up. We're all right. Okay, we recognize this. Yep. This place, I recognize it. I'm going to try this way first. Because this was where the portal was, right? Yeah, that's where we that's where we left last time. And there was a door that was locked. Still locked. So weird how this is familiar to me now. When we was here last time, it was <laughs> it's just complete panic. Can't pick that up door we can't open that and then there was stairs going down right which just descended deeper and deeper yep all the way down there oh do we want to go down there though I suppose I'm gonna have to let's go <sighs> hell is that noise I 
can hear somebody screaming in pain, right? Let me just see what the journal says. Okay. Yep. So that's that. <laughs> yeah, we're not going that way. I just want to go up and to the left. I'm not, I'm not messing with that business. There's no way. All right, we've got a page. We are learning to handle the visions and to distinguish what our eyes really see. We've arrived in a huge structure that seems to be overseen by the guardians under the orders of the ancients. This must be the place where people abducted from our world are kept, waiting for the final judgment. Only those in whose veins flow the blood of the ancients will be chosen for the final transformation. Only in this way, they will be able to become part of them. We've devoted our lives to achieving this goal. We'll be chosen and our bodies and minds will unite with the ancients, becoming one with them. We just have to reach them and show ourselves. They will be able to recognize the blood that runs in our veins. Said it before. These people are batshit insane. Stuff like this as well. It'd be so cool to like study all of this. Oh. Wait, we were just placed right back where we stopped? No teleporting to a different spot that just breaks your brain even more? I'm fine with that, but <laughs> that's not what I expected. I was fully expecting a different place. Oh, wait a second. I might have spoke too soon. That low groan like that. Oh, he sounds so good. I hope you guys are wearing headphones when you're watching this. Even if you're not, I hope you get that vibration from the noise that's coming through. Oh my god. Oh. There he is. Great ancient Arthur. Come to me. I don't want to. <laughs> that's so badass. Look at that thing. Oh. It's literally the size of the world. Go and see what the big guy wants. <laughs> see the truth. But... But this is me! No. It's not possible. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> So that's what this is. This weird tube thing we're seeing in front of our eyes, that's what we just looked at then. We're inside of that and we're connected to it. That's how it's going to end. There's no way it ends like that. So there we go guys, an end to the Alien Cube and Arthur's story. I will be totally honest, the first half where we were going through everything, including the apartments and trying to find out what happened to Edgar and piecing all that together, I think that was my favorite part of all of this. Obviously with it being a Lovecraftian horror, there was elements to the dimension that we were in and I would have loved, loved a little bit more information on what's going on on that side of things and the creatures that are involved over there too. I know we got snippets, but I think I just wanted a little bit more. Although there was a lot to digest towards the end, I enjoyed it. Once again, Alessandro, thank you so much for sending me an early copy of the game so we could all experience this together. And you guys want to see more stuff like this where we're just basically going through a whole experience with it being a story or 
whether it be horror or something else, drop a like on the video. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying stuff like this. So for now, this is where we're going to end. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one.